Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Ash and today I'm showing you my dupe of the Blend Bunny and Robert Welsh Divination Palette. Um, I wanted to sit down and do a video like I normally do when I build a BYOP where I go through the process of building it with you but I just didn't have time this week. November is a very busy month for me, so is December, and this is a very large palette, so I thought it would just be easier if I built the palette in my own time and then walked you through what I put in it in this video. So uh, sometimes I do this for larger palettes. I did this for the Blend Bunny and Ellis palette that came out, because um, that was an even larger palette. Um, and I think for larger palettes, maybe this is the way I'm going to go because making videos about palettes this big are kind of hellish to edit. They just take a really long time. Uh, and especially this month and next month, that's just time that I need for other things. So yeah, hopefully you understand. Uh, maybe this will be better. I don't know. I'm not going to do this for all my BOIOPs. I'm still going to show you how I build them. Uh, the smaller ones anyway, but I think for bigger ones, maybe this is just how I go about it. But anyway, enough rambling. Uh, let's get right into the swatches and talking about what's in here. So first, I am very sorry. I'm trying to make it so my lighting's not weird, but it is just that time of day and the way that our house is situated, the light comes through the window in a weird angle um, in the afternoon. So I apologize. Hopefully it's not too distracting. Um, but first row we have in here are these yellows and a couple of browns. And I like that this palette has a rainbow vibe, but it's not like traditional rainbow. Um, I do think Blend Bunny while it feels a little repetitive lately, I do think the brand does a decent job of making unique takes on Rainbow. And I think it's maybe just the muted nature of this palette. You know, nothing's too colorful in it. Um, I think that's what's appealing to me about it. It's color without being too colorful. But as you can see by my dupe here. I really don't need the divination palette even though it is beautiful. So here in the first row I have a sci-fi from Blend Bunny Machina which is this yellow leaning chartreuse with a blue and green sparkle. Then I have center of attention from Blend Bunny Sickly Sweet which is this very light, it's like a pastel version of a highlighter yellow. And then I have Dandelion from Pure and Raw Beauty Christie, which is a very, very warm, rich yellow matte. And here I have Pouty from Blend Bunny's um, All Done Up palette, which is a warm orangey brown. And then lastly, I have Lavish from ColourPop's Grandeur palette, which is a warm, slightly reddish copper metallic. And this first row was fairly easy to dupe. I think I had the hardest time with these browns actually. And something I discovered about this palette is um, this brown and these two matte browns down here looked very similar in all of the swatch photos I looked at. And then the two metallic browns also looked very, very similar to me. Um, so when I was building my version of this palette, I wanted to make those little more different if I could. I'm sure that in application the browns from the divination palette might have more obvious differences like in person and in application but in all the swatch photos I, I was looking at and I looked at quite a few um it just they looked so so similar that I couldn't justify putting browns that similar in my version so I tried not to do that. So I'm trying to make it, take it out of the light a little bit. And then for this green row, the, like the tones were interesting. I think the choices made for each color were interesting because 
they do feel like, you know, cohesive, like at first glance, but when you spend time like really looking at the palette and thinking about what to do with it, it, it becomes more noticeable that the tones don't really match all that well, or they're not just a smooth, simple gradient. It's like the greens here, you have this very bright acidic lime green, and then you have a more toned down, like leaning into olive green, and then this forest green, and then the metallics are also, you know, uh, different tones of green. So for the metallic, it's like, uh, this is the closest I could get. I think the one in the Blend Bunny palette is um, more pigmented, like the base color is more pigmented, but this one's still really pretty. But like, um, it still looked like a very bluish green pastel metallic. And it doesn't feel like there's very much like bluish green in the mattes. And then it felt like the darkest metallic was very, almost like a blackened green, very grungy and dark. Um, so it was interesting. And, and that kind of goes for all the other rows. It felt like the metallics, the tones of the metallics didn't quite match up with, with what was happening in the mattes. And the mattes all look like they'll work together, but they're all just very different tone-wise to me. So I don't know what that's about. Um, but I still think the palette will work together well. It's an interesting one. But anyway, so first for this metallic over here, I have this AZTK single. AZTK is a Japanese brand. This is the shade 7 Ice Green. Then I have Toxin from Blend Bunny's Primal Palette. This very bright, acidic green. Really, really pretty. And then this middle green is Alive from Blend Bunny Surge. And like I said, this is kind of like a mid-tone green that leans towards olive. It's not quite an olive green, but it's not far off either. And then this is Lux from Blend Bunny Blends, this nice, deep, rich, uh, leaning into forest green. And this is Slither from Blend Bunny Primal, which is an emerald green metallic with blue, green, and purple sparkle. And then we have this, what I was thinking was more blue, but I think it's more of a teal row, like a blue to teal kind of row. And honestly, I love me some teals, so I'm not upset about the fact Blend Bunny uh, prioritizes making teal eyeshadows, like teal rows in their palettes. Personally, I am all about it. And even each row, like all together, the palette looks very pleasing. It, like it's very pleasing to look at. It looks very cohesive. Everything has about the same level of mutedness and colorful qualities. What am I saying? It has the same, it's pretty equal in colorfulness and mutedness. So I feel like that helps keep it cohesive. Um, but over here for this lightest blue metallic, I have the shade Crying Sparkles from Blend Bunny Sickly Sweet. It's a nice, really bright silvery blue. And then this is Ice Baby from ColourPop's On Cloud Blue Palette, a really nice light pastel blue. And then this middle one is Rush from Blend Bunny's Surge Palette. It's a muted, um, not quite a teal, it's like, it's somewhere between teal and denim blue. It's like in that middle ground. It's got the muted quality of a denim blue, but a, like more green than a denim blue. So it's going into teal a little bit. It's a very interesting blue. I really like Rush. And then this is PNW from ColourPop's At Forest Sight Palette, which is a matte Prussian kind of blue. And then this is Astro from Kaleidos Club Nebula. This is a grungy, kind of grayish teal. It has a purple and pink shift. Very pretty. And 
you know, I... I do think everything is pretty cohesive in here. I think I've already said that. It just, it, I keep going back and forth when I look at this, like, it doesn't make sense to my brain, but also it does make sense. I don't think I'm making any sense, but that's okay. Purple row was the hardest to dupe, mainly for that middle purple mat. It just, I didn't feel like I had anything quite like it and I felt like it was really hard to get this gradient the way that it's supposed to look in the palette. I had to look at a bunch of different swatch photos in order to feel like I was getting close um, because all the different swatch photos had different lightings, different skin tones, you know, it was just, it was a struggle, but I think I finally got it to where I'm happy with it. So this light purple metallic over here is Good God from JD Glow. Sadly, JD Glow is no longer, but it is a lavender metallic that shifts pink, purple, and blue. And then this is Dopamine from Blend Bunny Sickly Sweet, which is a pastel lavender matte. And then, like I said, this purple is the hardest. Um, and this is the closest thing I had. I don't think it's quite right. Um, but it's the closest thing I had. This is Spooky from Blend Bunny Sickly Sweet. It's a muted, um, muted mid-tone purple, like a muted grape purple. And then this darkest purple is Cinched from Blend Bunny's Dollhouse palette. It's a nice kind of, I would say this is like an eggplant purple. That's what I would consider it. Um, and then for the purple metallic over here, this is Big Feelings, which is also from Blend Bunny Sickly Sweet. So it's a cool toned purple base with a warm like violet sparkle, a little bit of pink in there as well, and some cool toned purple sparkles. So I think this, this right here is my favorite. They could have just left it at this, honestly. But I understand why they did more. But this, perfect. This is perfect to me. But we have two more rows. Okay, now this brown row was also a little bit difficult, not as hard as the purples, but I was having trouble finding tones that I thought matched the browns in the Divination palette nicely. Um, so again, this is as close as I could get. Um, I felt like I didn't really have the kind of neutral peachy metallic that um, Divination has, but this is pretty close. This is Diamond from ColourPop's So Jaded palette. This is a like light neutral peach base color with silver and turquoise sparkle in it. It's not quite a duochrome, but it's very, very pretty, very sparkly. And then for this matte, first matte, this is Vintage P sorry, not Vintage Peach, Vintage Taupe from Natasha Denona. I got this shade from the Jubilee palette, and this is a nice muted peachy pink. And then this middle brown is Moody from ColourPop's Nude Mood palette. Just a nice, rich, warm brown. Kind of leans towards red rather than orange, um, although these two are still very, very similar. Um, but this one is slightly redder and a little bit more, it's kind of in the borderline between a reddish brown and a neutral brown. And then um, pouty is much more orange. And then for this last brown matte, this is Soil from Blend Bunny Primal, a really rich red undertoned brown. And then for the metallic, I went with Marionette from Blend Bunny's Dollhouse palette, which is a even redder and richer metallic um, copper 
But again, Lavish and um, Marionette are very, very similar. So I think using them in a look together, they might not look all that different, but you know, who knows? I won't know until I do it. And then finally, we have this really nice gray scale kind of row, which I do like. I like grays. Don't get me wrong, I love grays. Um, but I felt like, again, they could have stopped with the first four rows. I don't feel like they needed to make it a 30 pan palette, but that's just me. I'm sure there was a reason. Mostly, I think I'm just, I'm good on black eyeshadows from Blend Bunny, matte blacks and white black, or white blacks, white mattes. Um, I have enough black and white mattes from Blend Bunny to last me a very long time, and I don't feel like every single palette needs them, but, you know, again, that's just me. Um, so over here, we have this beautiful silver. I think the silver in the Divination palette had a little bit of blue or turquoise in it. It was really hard to tell, um, but I just went with a straight up silver because I didn't want this to shift uh, blue or turquoise. I wanted it to be a silver. This is Accentuate from Blend Bunny's All Done Up palette, and it's a very sparkly, very bright, intense, true silver. And then this first gray is Ash from Lime Crime Venus Immortalis. I think the matte gray in Divination, this one, is supposed to be lighter, but it was either this or almost a white gray, uh, like very, very light going into white kind of gray. And I feel like this, I do think the grays in Divination look very similar, these two shades. So I think I got that as accurate as I could. Um, but this is a nice lighter kind of blue toned gray. And then in the middle, we have Robotic from Blend Bunny Machina. This is also a mid-tone blue, un like blue toned gray. It's just slightly darker than Ash and a little bit like grayer. And then, then we have uh, Nevermore from Blend Bunny's Blends Palette, which is just a matte neutral black fantastic matte black. Blend Bunny makes really great matte blacks, but I have a lot of them. And then lastly, a black metallic, which I was happy to see in the Divination palette, um, but I have this beautiful one from Blend Bunny. This is Harlequin from the Dollhouse palette, and it's so beautiful and sparkly. It's got some silver and I feel like there's purple sparkles in it. I can never really be quite sure, but I definitely know there's silver sparkles in here. But all in all, I think I did pretty well. I got as close as I could to the Divination palette, and I do think it's really, really pretty. I think all of Blend Bunny's palettes are beautiful. This one really caught my eye. Um, it's the only palette after Lawning that's really caught my attention, and I felt like, oh, I kind of want to buy that. Um, there's also another collab palette right before the Divination palette. Um, what is their username? Donnie Darkowitz, I think it is, on Instagram. Beautiful palette as well, but it just didn't really speak to me all that much. I might still go ahead and dupe it, just because I think that would be a fun one to dupe. Um, but this one was really capturing my attention. And then, as of filming this, I know Lynn's makeup looks. On Instagram I think that's her username she just um, she just got a collab with blend bunny that they are going to start selling tomorrow I think they've shown it um, excuse me they've shown it on Instagram like the whole thing's been revealed but I don't know when it's going up for sale but that one also very pretty but just not really speaking to me so probably won't be tempted by that one um, and I don't know if I'm going to really dupe it, but this one was great to dupe and I do want to use it. I, it's such a big palette. I don't know if I want to do three looks or do five. I guess it's going to kind of depend on how much time I have because like I said, I am very busy this month. Um, but I would like to do at least three looks of this. So that will be coming soon, I think. Uh, so stay tuned for that. 
but anyway thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed let me know if you think i got pretty close um especially if you have the divination palette i would love to know if i got really close or not because you know photos it's hard to tell sometimes what exactly a palette looks like so if you have it and you know you think i did pretty well then uh, let me know uh, but that is it for me thank you again for watching and i will see you when i see you bye